Hi everyone, welcome back to Sun's Arts. If you are new, welcome to the family. Today we are going to make spring theme DIYs. So let's start with DIY number one. For this I took one of this sign from Dollar Tree and I am going to use the back part of it and I am going to remove the sticker and paint this with white chalk paint and one coat was uh, actually two coats were good enough and while that's drying I just took some of this uh, um, antiquing wax and then I just painted two of this wooden garden tools and using the same antiquing wax I dry brushed to give like a distressed look there while those were drying I just took three of this floral wooden cutouts and I'm also taking this um, decorative paper this is also from Dollar Tree I just got this polka dotted one three in three colors one is green pink and blue like you're seeing using glue stick I stuck all three of them and I'm just you know, sanding it down and this actually comes out neatly and I also took uh, some of this foam letter book and I picked like spring letters and I painted with black chalk paint and after they dried I just took three of the skewers which I also dipped in this antiquing wax and I'm just taking these flowers and arranging three of them on top of the skewers just like that I want to see the right arrangement and I stuck all these three flowers there and I took some of the Spanish moss to the base of it and I stuck two of those garden tools on either side of the spring and these are the cute buttons they're going to be on top of these cute flowers and taking generous amount of hot glue I'm sticking those cute buttons onto the center of these florals and I think with this I'm done I also stuck one of the cute a polka dotted bow to match all the colors and this is such a cute spring themed sign and i'm so happy how all these came out with the dollar tree items and they turned out to be a great sign i absolutely love how this for ours florals turned out and yeah i would like to know your thoughts too video will be part of hello spring collab and this is hosted by tammy from the rusted willow and ellie from diy from house to home and the guest host would be favi from creation by favi and i'm going to link the crafting channels of these three ladies in my description box as well as link to the huge playlist so please watch all of our videos and give lots of love so let's move on to DIY number two. For this, I'm going to repurpose one of my earlier sign and this I'm going to paint the same color that you see on the meet me at the garden gate. I just love that beautiful tone of this pink, I would say dusty pink. And I wanted to combine one of this uh, beige color that I got from Home Depot for 50 cents. And I'm going to mix this with the brown paint to get like exact color. And I just painted on the top and bottom of this round, including the beads part of it. And I'm going to pull off this hanging part, uh, jute on top of it. And I'm going to stick with this with generous amount of hot glue on the white surface of the round, just like you're seeing and i'm going to you know attach some uh, bows on the top and this is actually looking so gorgeous i just love the tone of the color there and i use the same hanging part uh, the jute hanger and then i uh, combined some of this uh, neutral color uh, ribbons and i created a cute bow with a button in the center with the greenery on either side and this is such a simple and easy sign and i just love how this turned out and this could be a nice neutral decor if you like neutral decor and yeah this is one of it that i want to share with you all i hope you would like it too so please let me know Let's move on to DIY number three. For this, I got this beautiful garden sign that I got from last year and I never got to use it. So I'm going to use the back part and we are also going to use the front part in the later part. You're going to see and I just painted like two coats of white chalk paint. And after the paint dried, I just, you know, drew the straight lines according to those spikes to give nice shiplap background. Then I took one of this wooden sign and I just painted one coat 
coat of white chalk paint and uh, I also took after the white paint dried I took the same uh, mixture of paint the brown and beige and I painted the uh, tiny leaves or you can say florals and I just took green chalk paint for the leaves and this is how it looks after all the paints are adorned on it now i also took tiny wooden pieces of florals in different colors and i just uh, painted in pink blue white yellow and you know another lavender color so i just wanted to give like spring florals there and i just stuck on to this brown leafy part or maybe stems I don't know what to say those are the florals where the florals are you know blooming out and I just took one of this brown burlap uh, ribbon and I created a bow out of it and one of the pink bow on top of it with some green decor on top of it to finish the look is this beautiful or what I just love how this spring sign turned out and those um, you know faint green and the brown and those florals i just love how this whole sign turned out now you're going to see the other side i'm going to decorate the other side as well this is like a two-sided decor or you could say a reversible sign so this is uh, the planter that came with the sign and this is one of the galvanized one i painted with the same mixture of brown and beige and i took one of this um, stencil and uh, using chalk paint and my stencil brush i just traced f from it and later i got this alphabets of stamping alphabets from dollar tree and i wrote flowers using them and this is another stencil that I got from Michaels for 50 cents or one dollar I don't remember and I just drew the design on top of this floor part and I'm also drawing with this uh, um, uh, black sharpie some designs on it to you know finish the look and uh, this is all I'm doing I'm just sticking the that back to this uh, florals and uh, I call this is done and isn't this pretty I just love how this cute um you know flower pot sign turned out on the other side and this is just simple decor and uh, i just love it so please let me know your thoughts For this I got this one of the kissing booth from uh, Valentine decor this year and I wanted to decorate this for you know spring so I just took the back part of it and I gave generous two coats on it while that's drying I took some of this lavender color and one yellow color paint and pink all on top of this garland and I'm also going to I also took some of this wooden flowers and I also painted you know all spring colors to it and this is one of the calendar print cutout with a fresh flower sign the tiny ones and I just stuck it to the base of this uh, uh, kissing booth and I also stuck all these flowers and one tiny pink bird on top you're gonna see that in a second yes and I also stuck some of this um, baker's twine around the sign to highlight the sign and those cute wooden flower pots are from Dollar Tree you all know that and I just stuck some of this uh, spring florals in there and this is a fresh flowers handmade bouquet you know truck sign there i also stamped two of those uh, florals with the uh, black ink on either side and i just drew some lines to give like extra decoration to it and this is such a beautiful you know station for flowers fresh flower market and yeah i just love this i hope you would like it too so please let me know your thoughts and let's move on to diy number five for this i'm going to do a couple of hacks for three of the diys actually hacks and i just took one of this tulip sign and i painted white and pink like you saw and this is one of the keychain round and i just painted white and distressed later and after i stuck it in the center of this tulip i'm going to take this cute sticker only the part where it says hello spring and i'm going to stick it in the center i also used a little bit of a hot glue to make it like a little otherwise it just falls off the sticker doesn't stick and i also attached two of these pink bows and some greenery to finish the look isn't this a beautiful hello spring sign 
and the tulips are something that um, reminds me of spring so I thought like I should add this also as part of the decor and this is one of the quick hack I would say and I just love how this turned out I got three of this cardboard paper and I cut down into the flower shape and I painted with the pink paint while the after the paint dried I'm just arranging these three together in the form of a tulip and I also uh, got one of the skewer and I'm just sticking just to the base and this I used last year for a decor and I painted those flowers in three different colors to you know represent spring and I also stuck a cute bow to finish the look on top of the home and this is such a simple and easy hack that you can decorate for spring and this has got like beautiful I just love the center huge tulip and those uh, cute flowers in the base and this is one of it that I want to share with you all today I hope you like it next one is another round that I also used last year and this is also another sign that I used last year too so I'm going to bring these two together and create a new sign here and I just stuck those beautiful floral tuck it stuck in the center and uh, I also stuck some greenery and a pink flower to finish the look isn't this a quick and easy hack I just love this spring floral bloom struck and uh, yeah please let me know your thoughts Are some of my social media handles if you'd like to connect with me over there and this means we reach to the final part of the video which is the final reveal of all the spring decor today and i absolutely enjoyed making all these diys today i hope you enjoyed watching and working along with me and if you like some of these ideas and you would like to join with the family i would be more than happy if you click on the subscribe button and join and definitely don't forget to hit on the bell icon to get updated when i upload videos like this and uh, i would let you enjoy the final reveal and i wanted to say thank you for taking some time to watch this video and you've made my day I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, if you'd like to see some of my videos, I'm going to tag some in the right corner of the screen. And like I always say, thank you so much for watching today. And I'll see you again.